Good morning, people. I am up and at it today. Yesterday, I was literally like dying. Like, I had some um, duck the day before. Hold on, sorry. I had some duck the day before, and it practically murdered me. Like, I could not breathe. Like, I was dying. My stomach was hurting. And I laid in bed. I had to skip class for a second. It just was so exhausting. But um, I am alive. So it's all good in this hood. Um, and yeah, so I'm just waiting on my taxi. I'm about to head to the Ethnology um, Museum with... I don't even know what Ethnology means. But I'm about to head <laughs> to the Ethnology Museum with... Alina and uh, Gabby because I need to get out the house. I'm in Vietnam, so I spent the day enjoying it. Now I'm like, okay, ooh, my skin look great. I cut my hair today, so now I'm just uh, about to do that. I'm going to get some food because I'm starving. I only ate like nachos yesterday, some chips, so I need food. But um, yeah, I think my grab is pulling up. I think it's him. But uh, I will talk to you guys. Oh, you'll see. You'll see everything. So, uh, oh no, that's not him. But uh, yeah, sickness is real when you travel. I'll be forgetting. I get sick randomly. I'll try new things and then I'll just be. Oof. But yeah. Oh, I think this is. I don't know. Oh, this is it. Okay. I'll see you guys there. Central Eye. It's mere money, you know. <laughs> Vietnamese Museum of Ethnology. Are you are you on me today? What are we doing? No, I was. <laughs> are you on me today? Oh, Gabby. Oh, Gabby. Hey, Gabby. How are you? I'm hot, but I'm good. I'm hot too. <laughs> that's right. The textiles. See, this is one of my favorite parts too. Like the patterns of. Um, of different cultures and seeing what they use and like the different symbols you can see like the dragon in here with the flowers the elephants there's a lot of elephant symbolization in um in vietnam i've noticed the dragonflies and this is what they use to to um to sew it i can't even think um Morocco has something similar to this, where they put the colors through and then they kneel it and then push it back and lock it. I always wanted to learn how to do that. Peacock, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's called a spindle. That's what I was trying to think of. Spindle. The tiger and the deer and the antelope. Oh, see, so yeah. See, this is how she would use it. So beautiful. There's so many different ones. What is this? Is like a crab or maybe a dragon? The dragon motif, yeah, a spinning. What does it say? Head turning. Dragon motif. This is beautiful. Other countries just have way better museums 
sometimes like like in when I was at Expo the different country like uh, pavilions they had different museums and stuff the best one was uh, Kuwait Kuwait had a beautiful uh, ex- exhibition of all their eth- um, ethnicities in Kuwait which is really beautiful kind of like this they had like a a thing where you can kind of talk to people or not talk to people but hear their voices <laughs> this is beautiful another shrine for ancestors oops excuse me oh oh oh, oh. the camera They're so cute. Yeah. Like little dioramas make me want to be a little small little person, like uh, off of uh, not at the uh, not at the museum. That's what museums remind me of. We're like in one. That's so dope that it turns into one. That's so smart. I love museums and art museums. They just, the curation of it just makes me think like, what was the, what was the creator thinking? You know what I mean? Like, it's just so smart to create one part where you're actually in the house that we just looked at before walking in. So this is what it would look like if the woman was sitting here weaving it's really interesting that a lot of this is based off of um, more textiles rather than kind of like the ethnicities themselves that's kind of what I thought it would be I guess it's more so the production of different ethnicities within Vietnam little observations <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool yeah. and someone actually made this too you know what I mean like someone really is insanely talented to make something like this yeah like today's second look exactly like the real thing yeah so cool yeah. a little hat it matches my outfit it's so cute like i've been wanting one of these and she's like it's cheap it was seventy thousand, which is like three dollars but real cute yes i'm rocking this okay we're about to eat get some food girl i'm hungry all right. Come on. So pretty. It is so pretty. Come on. terrifying. I'm not just seeing that at night. Wow, it's huge. Yeah. Those are huge. My bad. Friday. Give me a Friday, 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 Friday. Friday, you will have lesson at home. Because you say that the time of celebrating morning. Hello, friends. Um, listen, it's been hard, okay? The past few days, I've just been going through it. I had duck poisoning not poisoning but like food poisoning because i ate duck i think i already said that but um i um had a really bad headache and i found out that it was from my ac blowing on my ear continuously so that's been clearing up um 
my mood has been eh. I've really been like, can I do this? A lot, questioning myself. But I think that's like natural. When you study abroad, girl, when you, when you work abroad, it's just a lot, especially when I was doing a little video. <laughs> it's okay. Especially when you've been like doing this for so long and then you are completely in a new space like Asia. So that's been that. But right now we're about to go get food and get the energy back up and change momentums. So yeah. Tweet, do you want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> Huh? Do you want a beautiful writing? Yes. <laughs> Xin chào. Xin chào. This is my ko, my teacher, right? Yeah. Ko. Oh, wait, I can say that. This is Dai. Dai la ko. Okay. Dai Dai la ko. Hi. Dai la ko Thuy. Dai la ko Ti Thuy. Uh huh. Dai la ka leon. We go. I'm gonna show you the food and. What we're about to eat, pho. Uh -huh. yeah. If we can find pho ga. Well, we, we can have pho ga, but then where's Susu? Susu, what else? Susu, is, uh, Susu is in her room. What's room? Uh-huh. Susu, what's in her room? Yeah, that. Okay. See you. First bowl of fun in Vietnam, even though I've been here for two weeks. Come on. What is this? Uh, fish sauce. Oh, fish sauce. So, I am going to get a massage, girl, because I have been wanting to get a massage for the longest. Oh, it's right here. And I'm going to get a little aromatherapy. I'll let you guys know how it is. Hello, people. I just finished my my Vietnamese acu acupressure. Acupressure, not puncture, because acupressure is like, is a, uh, I don't think I already said this, but it's a, uh, 
pressure points versus the, the needles. And aromatherapy, I could barely talk because it, it felt so good. Like when I tell you, she was going in. Oh, come on. Okay. Come on. Um, she was going in. Oh my God, it was absolutely beautiful. But I was like, you know what? I was walking home. I was gonna get a bun me, which is a sandwich with, with chicken, but I said, you know what, let me get a bowl of pho. Uh, so I'm here at this little local place. Let me show y'all. But I'm here at this little local place, about to eat and enjoy a bowl of pho for dinner, because I deserve it. And it was all, like, I, I spent 85 minutes getting um, a massage. She did a full body, head to toe, and temples to the, to cracking my toes, like, it was so good. I'm gonna go there every week. But it was $15. $15 for 85 minutes. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, let me show y'all where I'm at. Really cute. Cute little sit down. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, this, this is the place. Y'all. I went to get that massage and look at me. Broke out, swelling, girl. Whew. That oil got me good. Red everywhere. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but red everywhere. Chest red, eyes swelling. But I can breathe, so that's good. But irritation. So I'm in the doctor's office, and I'll be fine. Um, but just to update. Oh, look at me. Look at. Me. That's a picture right there. Screenshot. All right. Yes, coconut. <laughs> it's good too. Say hi. Hi, xin chào. Xin Yeah. Hello. Xin chào. Xin chào. We have to see what he's cooking. He's the chef tonight, really. Where is it again? I'm Komnua. I'm Komnua. Chicken adobo. Adobo oh, yeah. guy. It's from Philippines, right? Yeah. 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 That's good. Oh, yeah, some squid salad. Some herbs and chilies. Is that peanuts? Yeah, it's toasted. Peanuts. Toasted peanuts. Okay, hello people. So I just got finished um, uh, with a medical check. Got a bunch of shots, they're like two shots. Um, blood drawn and I am currently walking to my house so I can relax because we had to be up at, I had to be up at like 6.30 just to make it to this thing that's right by my house so I could have walked but it was chill, got me an exam. A medical exam for my work permit and I'll be starting work soon I'm um, in Vietnam teaching my English I got me a, a little it's like a I don't know what it's called but it's um, one of the little dumpling looking things and I always thought they only had beef and I walked past and I saw guy which means chicken so I said oh I'm gonna give me one so got me a chicken and mushroom one gonna eat it I have made it back to my room. I had to throw some stuff in the laundry, so my food might be a little cold, but it's actually a different food. So, I'm gonna try it though, so I'm gonna show you that. That's what it looks like. Really pretty. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay. 
that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Oh my god. I hold on. I can't even give you a reaction. Hold on. Now that's good. Mm-hmm. Hold on. This I don't know what this is, like but it's like doughy, but it's sweet. Not too sweet. It's like a savory with a kick of sweet. And the chicken is shredded chicken, so it's really light. It just melts in your mouth. You got onion, some mushroom. Oh my God. This is my new favorite thing. I need to get more of these. I need to buy like seven of these. And the bread is so light, it kind of melts in your mouth. Oh my god, it says like a potato. No. I know this. It tastes like a. Yeah, like a. Potato bread. That's what I was trying to get at. It tastes like potato bread. My grandma used to make. Use potato bread. Rest in peace. She used to make potato bread all this, or make things with potato bread all the time. That's what it tastes like. Potato bread with some chicken. This is good. With the hot sauce. Now, this is something I'm going to get all the time. And like I said, I used to think that. Excuse me. I used to think that. Um. Um. That they only have beef. And then I saw chai, which means vegetarian. And I saw, oh, they got chai? Okay, they got vegetarian one. Let me get a vegetarian. Then I looked above, and I never really saw a guy. It never clicked in my head. I said, God, nom. That's probably what it's called, nom. God, nom. I want to get that. Best choice ever made in Vietnam so far. So far. That's right down the street from my house. I just, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. It's a sweet, it's a savory. It is a lot of bread to meat ratio. So I am picking a lot of the bread off. But it's okay because it's like a sweet, kind of desserty. I would have this after a meal as a snack versus like as a meal. Or like for lunch. If I want this to like, you know, feel full. But this is good. This is great. With the Tabasco. Yeah, I got me a little Tabasco sauce from American Store, y'all. So yeah, I'm about to go to the Water Puppet Show. I'll probably put the Water Puppet Show in the next vlog, to be honest. Y'all might have to just wait, because this is a long vlog, but I love y'all. I've been drinking, look, I got so many, I got two over there. I got one over there. I've been drinking so many of these, because it has 1.5 liters. I'm drinking two of these a day, three liters of water, at least. Hydration. We are about to leave for the water puppet show. Um, we're getting, we're leaving. I don't know what I was gonna say, but um, I just cut my hair. I was blushing. I didn't even realize how what time it was, but I think it looks good. Um, I'm bald, so um, yeah. This is the outfit. Real cute. Real demure. Real cutesy. Um, but yeah, I 
just wanted to check in with you all and let you know that I'm about to dip. Um, and I'll show you some clips. Yeah. Me too. This is like the one thing. This is the one reason I came to Vienna. It was the water park. That was it. That was it. Please follow me. It's so thấy sự đời bối rối đau đớn nên tôi phải làm lỗi làm lỗi để làm gì làm lỗi để lo toàn sự
<laughs> the McDonald's in Brazil. Look at all these options. Popeyes. And then you have Burger King. On the other side. Real cute. It's a mule. Mindful. Good job fixing up lighting real fast. Right? Mm -hmm. Hey people, I am going on a little self date to the Wild Robots. This is the theater, movie theater. Movie theater now, right there. So, I'll let y'all know how it is. Um, I'll see you soon.